to record this there we go now it's recording and um yeah just let me know if this is working uh you can hear me yes or no is fine as well and i see that you i stream hack the box so ICP content related to but oh wow okay oh australian time zone damn you you streaming it directly from australia joining my stream thank you so much hi there b95 underscore root nice to meet you um, glad you could join us today um, just to let you guys know um, this is my first stream I've never done this before but I have uh, learned a lot from pe watching people doing this live stream that it is can it can be a challenge and um, the reason why we're here uh, why I want to really stream um, OACP is because uh, a I have seen a lot of people struggle during this uh, certification and there's a lot of courses you can take um, to learn more about this you know uh, all the tools and requirement but there is a particular part of OECP which a lot of people don't know is Google search um, Google will literally help you pass the entire OECP that's how I did it um, I did not have fourteen hundred dollars to spend on this certification as you can see from here um, cost of fortune by the way um, there you go I think it's fourteen hundred dollars close and um, that's how much you pay you get a 90-day period once the 90 day starts um, you you're basically it you you need to start the game but um, what, what I want to go through this entire syllabus is um, learn how to pass the entire certification uh, with minimal investment of money I don't I definitely don't want you to buy this before watching this stream and then um, you learn something different and um, it, it, it's completely different don't don't buy the certification yet if you are interested uh, watch what I'm teaching uh, what watch how we we go through the entire certification process and then um, then you can decide on taking the cert and if you have already done it kudos to you I see that um, mr. do you have uh, wow, uh, 65 on 100 um, on the first exam. I've failed by five points, dude. Yeah, that's what I said. That you you barely made it, but that's good. That's good that you made 65 on 100 because that proves a lot. Let me just move this over here so people can see the chat. There we go. Uh, you proved a lot because 70 is the uh, people. If, if you don't know, 70 is the time. Uh, sorry, it's a grade. That you're required to pass the entire cert and if you do that then you are you you are the game you you want it <laughs> so um so here's how we started let me introduce myself um my name is shubham i have been in the cybersecurity industry since the past three years being a pen tester for three years um, i have an oscp cert i passed it in my first attempt um, i did not go through the usual route of buying the certification I did not know what was uh, hack the box or try hack me was not even invented when I start my certification. So didn't know much about what's going on. Um, also, I did not have that kind of money to invest in the first go. So here's what I did. I did a lot of OSINT, uh, that is open source intelligence. Um, I learned that by just Google search. I found out that offensive security has um, a syllabus pointed out right over here on its website. Um, it tells you literally the entire top, all the topics. It's an, it's an actual syllabus, which you would find in your textbooks. Um, with just the names, I was able to Google search every single thing and learn whatever was there in that topic because it's just not me who is taking this cert. It's a lot of people who have taken this cert and they have published whatever they have learned on the interwebs. <laughs> So they have updated every single application, every single tool, every single command on, online, and I was just able to make my notes exactly from the syllabus. And that's what I'm gonna teach. I am not going to teach you just like the YouTube videos teaches you of you know, jumping directly into hack the boxes and try hack me and then coding like a ninja. But, uh, and then people are looking at the YouTuber like, how did you do this? And they're asking questions in the comments because I go through the comments uh, and they asking, how did you do it? Why did you, how did that happen? Can you explain this again? And then that guy has to create another YouTube tutorial. I don't want to do that. I don't want you to ask that question, um, but I want you to search for it 
um, and that's what the kind of methodology we are building on. Uh, that's usually how how I learned it, and that's how I learned the entire cybersecurity um, pen testing, most likely. And, and some some of the times there's blue teaming too, but mostly it's pen testing red team. So that's what I learned, and I want to teach. I want you to learn that as well. So I uh, see that you said uh, I got to head to work shortly. Are you planning on uploading? The yes, yes. Thank you for asking that. I will be uploading this to YouTube uh, shortly. I have begun the recording as of now, so it should be uploaded soon afterwards, probably in a couple of hours. Uh, once I do that, I will post it on um, the streaming pa platform or uh, if you follow my LinkedIn, just follow my LinkedIn profile. I can up update it over here. That's my LinkedIn. Just uh, just um, send me a message uh, and I will update you with the post actually on YouTube. Okay, so that's been said. Um, let's see what's next. Um, Hmm. Okay, so reading the syllabus, what I can learn is that, uh, that by the way, today's session is going to be pretty small. I'm just going to go through what I'm going to go through on each and every live stream. Uh, we're going to break it by um, modules, and with that module, once you learn that, you should be able to uh, master that as well as apply it in future videos as well because we're gonna build up on what we learn uh, moving forward. And um, that's essentially what you need to do, basic basic fundamental understanding of how, what pen testing is. And I'm gonna walk you through it. Um, th the way I learned it, I'm gonna go through it too. I am not going to brain dump uh, whatever I have learned because clearly what I have learned is through years and years of um, practice as well as uh, shortcuts, things which I've taken um, to learn these kind of things and if I go through that zero to hundred directly on you some of you are new to this pen testing environment I want to be cautious about that and I want to make sure that you learn what's going on and not be question mark and then um, you know leave the stream or things like that definitely don't want to do that but uh, once that is done um, we can go through each module uh, we're going to go through every single thing in the syllabus the way i did it i'm going to show you how i did it every single topic which is covered uh, some of them i am going to just like um, nano vi diff vm diff these are the things which i'm going to go ahead and create a blog post you can just follow that and um, take care of that commands but it's not important that much um, once you start using the pen testing tools um, you will actually learn that in the game so you don't have to worry about it too much um, moving forward um, my initial focus is going to be on module starting from module number four which is practical tools uh, practical tools is where the actual OSCP starts before that is just fundamentals you need to learn those beforehand you need to know all those beforehand and then moving forward into practical tools I'm gonna go through each and every single topic share a little bit of what I know uh, about it as well and then um, let you guys take care from there onwards um, we're gonna go through netcat socat powershell powercat i need to actually uh, run a windows vm for this um, so that i can use the wsl feature uh, but i'm gonna go ahead and do that as well uh, moving forward wireshark i'm gonna also teach uh, tcp t shark that's the command line uh, module if you don't have access to wireshark on um, a victim machine so T shark does the trick uh, there's TCP dump I have made an amazing blog post on that part I learned a lot from BHIS um, and their um, um, methodologies on how to detect um, intruders and C2 environments so a lot of stuff on that part so TCP dump we're gonna cover that and then wrap up module number four module number five I am going to skip that because I did not I did not actually use this for my OSCP and it's definitely useful um, if you're planning on coding bash but we're gonna push this into the end of our entire syllabus um, so that you have knowledge of how um, coding works as well as uh, separate modules of Kali and once that is done you should be able to code pretty fairly easily uh, that's the idea so got one mate I gotta look for more of your content 
Howard Garcia, thank you so much, Miss Tad Triple Zero Seven. You've been a great troop. So um, see you around. Uh, moving forward, um, passive information gathering. Yep, this is pretty important. Um, this is most of the reasons how I do my bug bounties these days. Um, I've been getting into bug bounties because uh, it's much, much hot topic at the moment. So. I've been getting into that, learning more about bug bounty programs, and this is what they basically teach in bug bounty sessions, uh, whichever I attended. Um, all these leads to um, enumerations of environments as well as users. Um, with the email harvesting, uh, you have email harvesters, and you have password dumps, you have memory cats, and things like that. Those things will be used later on once you know a lot about um, the previous sessions of uh, bug bounties, but we're gonna go through that as well. Um, I so regarding note taking, if you're concerned, I take my notes in Notion. I've seen a lot of people take notes on um, their devices, uh, which is offline. I don't know why, um, but some I've, I've seen a lot of people upgrade their OS. It crashes and burns, and nothing works, and the, all their notes are gone. So I take it on Notion.so. Uh, I've been using that ever since. It's free. Um, you if you if you're a student i think you get get the entire student subscription for free as well and um, you can send your notes um, online to anyone whoever has a link so it's pretty useful so that is done and uh dns port scanning so i think this is all um nmap everything is nmap smtp enumeration that's nmap as well so through that we're going to go ahead and nmap and service enumerations with like SMB, NFS, SMTP. I'm gonna cover that as well. Also, I'm gonna supplement that with a proper um, hack the box tutorial or uh, try hack me tutorials that as well so that we learn through whatever I'm teaching as well as um, through these supplemental tutorials, how this actual service works and how can you hack it. Um, that's gonna be there. Also, just to reiterate, you don't have to purchase all this yet um, you definitely don't have to go ahead and purchase any of the membership of try hack me uh, i'm going to cover that as well later on but uh, don't purchase anything if you're not interested in it don't have the money for it i totally get it i didn't have it either but uh, you should definitely uh, stick around for more on how i'm going to cover uh, each and separate topics and um, um, how are we going to learn the entire subject by itself so a lot of google search for sure um, Vulnerability scanning, um, that, those are the things which, um, like Nessus, as well as um, I use Pentest tools. Uh, it's a paid subscription, but it helps for my um, uh, for scanning uh, multiple targets um, for hack the box and things like that. I also use it for my business as well uh, for pen testing other clients. Um, that helps. But Nessus is my go-to uh, whenever I am doing mass scale attacks. Um, I need to make sure that. I am scanning every single thing on the system. So that's this is nothing but um, end map on steroids, more steroids. So <laughs> uh, moving forward, web attacks. Um, this is where things get interesting. Um, I be, I'm pretty sure that we're going to cover this on stream number eight um, because I'm going to concatenate a lot of other stuff. So stream number eight or seven is what I'm thinking. Um, and then you have a derb, uh, burp suit. Um, you don't have to purchase the actual burp suit. We have community edition. I'm going to show you through that as well. Um, cross site scripting. These are all bug bounty, SQL injection. Um, some of these things may look easier for you, um, or some of the things are extremely difficult to understand what, what the hell is going on. But don't worry about it. We are going to go through every single one of them, um, and I'm going to prove it to you how easy it is to understand and um, pass this exam. Uh, buffer overflow is one module on itself. It's going to be one entire stream. I'm going to make sure that um, I go through an actual one hub machine with you so you can practice on it as well. Um, once we do that, I think they're all in the same buffer overflow environment. Or FTPD. I think all this is in, okay. 
and privilege escalation is the last thing which you need to worry about in OSCP. It's definitely how you would be getting each and every machine booted except the 10 pointer. Uh, but um, privilege escalation is basically you have a um, lower level shell, uh, generally a user shell, a guest shell, and um, through that you need to escalate the privilege, uh, make sure that you are um, enumerating properly. There are some um, shell scripts or Python scripts which I'm gonna show you which helped me as well and they're perfectly legal in the exam. Um, and once you use those automated enumeration, you should be able to be um, making sure that privilege escalation is something which how you not fail the exam. Because that's where people most of the time fail the exam. I'm honest to God because uh, that's pretty hard. And um, I struggled with it as well because um, most of these machines on Hack the Box are intended to be exploited. Um, and they have a very easy way to go through it. Um, but when it comes to OSCP, they have their own ways to make sure that you fall into a rabbit hole. Rabbit hole is the most easiest way to fall into, fail the exam, um, because that's basically how they track you and trick you. Um, so those things are there. OSCP injection. Cool. Okay, um, that should be good enough. Um, I am planning on doing the sessions, the live streams, um, almost every day, every alternative day. Um, so it's gonna be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Sunday, so that um, there we, we finish the entire subject uh, by itself pretty quickly. Um, I also plan to put this on YouTube, um, like one of you guys said, uh, put this on YouTube. So. I definitely will be doing this so that more people can learn from this and go through it by themselves. So once that is done, um, I would like for you guys to give me constructive feedback on how it's performing, how the streams are going, uh, so that I can learn more about this and uh, make sure that I deliver my content much more better. But um, if you plan on doing anything, um, make a snippet of the whole stream and you know, shared with your folks. I don't care. You can do whatever you want. Um, I, there's this is not copyright material. I don't may plan on making any money out of this. Um, definitely, if I get any tips through Twitch, I'm definitely donate. I'm gonna donate that away because I don't really want to make any money. Um, I want to give this knowledge for free um, because that's how I learned it. And um, there's a lot of people who cannot afford a lot of things, and I want to make sure that I cater to them first. So um, it's pretty easy. Just follow what I'm teaching and uh, go through it. Uh, it should be pretty easy. I don't think so. It's going to be hard. And pretty sure in the 30 month period, 30 day period, um, 30 to 45 day period, that's what the streams are going to be um, completed. You should be good enough, smart enough, or learned enough to um, do the entire OSCP by yourself. Um, you, you don't have to take the 90 day period after this because we are literally covered the entire syllabus Whatever you're gonna learn from the book is just gonna be a supplement to your learning But after this you should be able to just attack the proven grounds um, platform or if you take the uh, exam Topics you just you should be able to learn or go through the labs which they provide by themselves So uh, once we do that you should be good um, Yeah Unless you guys have any other topics I should be discussing, I am done from here. I will be doing another stream um, Monday, yeah, tomorrow. So I'll wait for five more minutes. Uh, if you guys have anything, just let me know.
You're welcome. Likewise, see you Monday. Come to think of it, what is the time in Australia at this moment? Oh, okay, it's business time. Time to work. It should be good well i'll see you guys on monday tomorrow um same time four o'clock um i will uh, most likely make a small stream of this uh, and upload it to youtube i have to edit this a lot because i forgot to click on the record button but i'll put this on youtube so you guys can get started on it um first if you want to just uh, follow what i'm doing um all you have to do is just attend the stream we are going to do the same thing what um, OSINT is, um, just open source intelligence and uh, learn through Google searches. Copy the entire thing and then learn it um, and then apply it slowly and then build our methodology based on that so that when the exam comes, one thing you are for sure knowledgeable of is how to do proper Google search. Uh, so once you do that, you should pass the exam without any issues. So once we do that, um, I should be good anything else going once going twice and that's it well i'll see you monday